Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aya and I'm based in Lagos, Nigeria. I hope you are all fine and doing great. On this channel, I upload DIYs, pattern drafting and sewing tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. On today's tutorial, I will be making an inverted pleat dress. So let's get started. I will be making use of this basic dress pattern to make the dress. If you already know how to draft the basic dress pattern, that is great. If not, you can click on the link above or on the link in the description box below to learn how to draft your home. I will be altering this basic dress pattern to make the inverted pleat dress. The first thing I will do is to alter the neckline of this basic dress pattern. For the front neckline, I will increase the neck width by 2 inches and I will mark it like this. I will also increase the neck depth by 1 inch and I will also mark the 1 inch point like this. I will now redraw the front neckline. For the back neckline, I will increase the neck width by 2 inches and I will mark it. And I will increase the neck depth by 1 inch and I will also mark. Then I will redraw the back neckline. I will no longer be using these old necklines. This is the new neckline that I'll be using for the dress. I will now go ahead and cut out the patterns. This is the waistline of the dress. I will raise the waistline of the dress by 2 inches for both the back and the front patterns. This is completely optional and it is my preferred choice. You can leave your waistline the way it is. I will now cut out the bodies of the dress. And I will set it aside. I won't be doing any other alteration to the bodies of the dress. This is the back skirt pattern. I will cut it open. But first, I will draw a slash line from the tip of the dart to the hem of the skirt. Then I will slash it open and close it. The closer of the dart automatically opens up the, the slash line. 
I will pin the pattern on another paper like this. I will redraw the M using my curve like this. I will also redraw the waistline curve. Then I will now cut it out. This is the front skirt pattern. I have already slashed the open and closed the dart. This is the 5 inches allowance for the center front pleat. This is the dart that I closed. I will now pin the front pattern on the new pattern paper like this. I will align the center front with the 5 inches demarcation line. I will also redraw the M of the pattern like this. Then I will cut it out. This is the part that I will be using for the inverted pleat and it is 5 inches wide. You can make yours more than 5 inches. The center front will be cut on fold. I reshape it and I reduce the aim of at the center front where I added the 5 inches pleat allowance and I gave it this shape. I reduce it 5 inches. And I gave it this shape. I will trim off the excess. So these are all the pattern pieces that I will be using. This is the sleeve pattern. This is the front bodice pattern. This is the back bodice pattern. This is the back A-line skirt pattern. This is the front A-line skirt pattern with the pleats allowance. So I will now go ahead and cut them out on my fabric. So now I have done that. This is the sleeve. The tutorial on how to draft this sleeve will be in the link above and below. I cut two pieces of the sleeve on fold and I've already added the needed seam allowances. This is the front bodies. I cut one piece on fold on the main fabric and another piece on the lining. I have also added the needed seam allowances. This is the back bodies. I cut two pieces on the main fabric and also on the lining. I have added the needed seam allowances. This is the front A-line skirt. I cut one piece on fold on both the fabric and the lining. I have also added the needed seam allowances. This is the back A-line skirt. 
I cut two pieces on the main fabric and also on the lining. I have added the same allowance when cutting it out. This is the bodice of the dress. I have already fixed inter interfacing to the necklines of both the main fabric and the lining pieces. I will now go ahead and stick the darts in place for all the pieces. So now I have done that. This is the lower part of the dress. This is the front skirt piece. I have already noted the position of the inverted pleats. I will now fold the pleats in place like this and then I will secure it with my pins. I will do the same for the lining piece as well. After doing this, I will place the upper part of the dress on the skirt. Right sides will be together. And I will stick them together on my sewing machine. I will do the same for the main fabric as well. I will stitch with right sides together. I will go ahead and do that for the back pieces as well. So I've joined all the pieces together and I've also overlocked the raw edges. I'll be overlocking the raw edges as I sew along. So it is now time to fix the zipper. First, I will mark the one inch seam allowance at the center back of the dress. I will stitch from this point down to the hem of the dress before fixing the zip I will go ahead and do that now so I've done that I fixed the zip this is the lining for the back 
First, I will mark the length of the zip opening. Then I will mark the 1 inch seam allowance at the center back. I will stitch points down to the aim of the dress. So now I have done that. I will now place the front piece on the back piece like this. Right sides will be together. What I intend to do is to join the two pieces together at the shoulder. But first I will pin the two pieces together at the shoulder like this. I will do the same for the main fabric as well. I will place the back on the front piece right sides will be together I will pin them together at the shoulder I will now go ahead and stitch the two pieces together at the shoulder for my sewing machine So now I've done that, I've joined the pieces together at the shoulder using half an inch seam allowance for the joining. So the next thing to do is to sew the neckline of the dress. I will place the lining piece on the main dress piece. I will place the lining piece on the main dress piece like this. Right sides will be together. And I will properly align and pin the necklines of the lining and the main dress together. I will now take it to my sewing machine and stick it in place using half an inch seam allowance. After sewing it, I will notch the neckline like this. Then I will flip the seam allowance towards the lining. And I will go ahead and understitch the seam allowance to the lining.
So now I'm done with the neckline. There's now time to join the sides. I'll be joining the sides fabric to fabric and lining to lining with the right size of the fabrics together. I'll be using one inch seam allowance for the joining. This is the seam allowance I use while cutting the patterns on the main fabric. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So now I've joined the sides. I will be closing this opening with my needle and thread. You can also close it with your sewing machine. To do it this way, we'll be going in through the armhole. So now I've done that, I've closed the opening. I will now move over to the sleeve. I have already pressed the one inch seam allowance at the end of the sleeve. I will stitch it in place like this. Then I will fold the sleeve into two. Right sides will be together. I will pin it together like this. Then I will stitch it in place with my sewing machine. I will do the same for the other sleeve too. I will go ahead and do that now. So now that has been done, I will now go ahead and fix the sleeve to the hammer of the dress. I'll be using half an inch seam allowance for this. I'll stick it all around the half an inch seam allowance. So now I've done that, I've fixed the, the sleeves. I have also aimed the lower part of the dress. I use one inch seam allowance for the Emmy. So that's it guys. We are done with the dress. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you for watching.